Hi everyone, it's Fred here from Hillian's Bricks and I hope you're well. Now this weekend we've got our first ever back-to-back -back brick festival going on. So we are going on Saturday to the Brighton Brick Festival at the Amex Stadium. And then on Sunday we got the Brentwood uh, Brick Festival at, uh, I think it's the Brentwood Sports Le Leisure Centre. So the first time we're ever doing two back-to-back -back shows. So let's see how that goes. So I'll be taking some footage at both events. So you can see what they're both like, see if they're different, see if they're the same. I've been to Brentwood last year. I know the venue is quite good, but this is the first time they're ever doing one at Brighton. So it be interesting to see how it compares and see if there's some similar mocks there. I do know that they tend to take similar mocks to different places. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, here's some footage from the shows at Brentwood and Brighton. Hey everyone, it's Fred here from Hillian's Bricks. I'm here with Emil, Hi. and today we are at the Brighton Brick Festival. And as you can see, we are here. We've got Lewis Dunk in the background. We are at the Amex. So yeah, the Brighton Brick Festival is held at the Amex. Emil's got a shirt on. You'll see we got Brighton and Hove logo as well. And yeah, as you don't know yet, we are season ticket holders for Brighton as well. So uh, let's go and have a look and see what's all here today at the Brighton Brick Festival. That's a welcome. Here's the desk where you sign up for all the activities. We've got some loose cups, all sorts of Lego where you can go and pick. Even duper bags. Seagulls. We've got some Doctor Who. Someone who hasn't turned up yet. Name and shame. Some play areas. It's going to be very popular today. Go. Gotta be. Oh, yeah, it's a lot, lot, lot of tan pieces, isn't it? People are still setting up, setting up. Oh, look at that! <laughs> Dad, can I get that one? <laughs> Yeah, we'll have a look in a minute. Yes. <laughs> Some displays that are lit up. That's what I said, it's a cheap one. Sideways. That's cool. To create that floor in effect. That's really cool. We're getting there. That, that is cool. broken the journey. They do. That's yeah. smart. Yeah. Oh no, the Pokeball is. Oh, yeah. it's yeah. <laughs> Demon Hunter. They place another Brickling order with me this week. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta give him a shout out. They're still setting up, we'll have a look at it in a minute. But this display is really cool, I've seen it multiple yes. times and he keeps yeah. adding more. Yeah. <laughs> Later on we'll film it, you'll see all these trains that are moving. There's even a train up there. Yeah. That's really cool. Got some ships here, these are still in cardboard, but look at this. This is phenomenal. Don't touch it. I'm not touching it, but what is that? No idea. Look at the size of these displays. This can't be easy to transport. <laughs> no, we are having that issue now. <laughs> it does come apart really yeah. neatly, it's just that it's still difficult. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Seen this one multiple times as well, in case you haven't. 
Oh look, that's cool. Not seen these ones before with coyote. I've seen this one. That is awesome. I've seen this one before. Roadrunner. Oh, they got one down there. Yeah. Uh, with a rocket. Yeah. Uh, start looking at the detail. That's pretty cool. Yeah. And here's Nexo Toys, run by Kevin. If you want any of these little parts, all very bespoke little things. Even motors, pullback motors. Golden goats. Industrial Should be free promotion. <laughs> yeah. We saw this last time, didn't we? Yeah, this is this is good. Anyone want some drinks? They've got it open. And then and later on here they've got all sorts of activities. See graffiti wall, you can build some stuff on the wall there. And there's an exit. Oh, we recognize this as well, don't we? Yes, Mum's favourite. Forge bricks. Hey, Forge. Yeah, hey. setting up but there's some pirate setup oh, mini pigs they should look familiar that's mine <laughs> and this is our stand Let's see if it is bricks got four tables poly bags four for fifteen and one needs some You want many pigs? Cameron's your guy. All the CMFs. Some good value sets here, I'd say. Right, this will do well. That's very cheap. Train shed, good value. See Winnie the Pooh up there for 99.50. That's very good. Decent deals here on Harry Potter. And then these are all the organizers.
Some of the new sets, the RRP is 200, 185. This is one more brick. These are pretty cool kits that you can buy. All, so as you can see. We're about midday and it's very busy still. You can see, we've got a mill all the way down there. And that's what you can see, and then we've got all the way around there as well. We can't complain so far, we sold a few sets, and uh, yeah, it's a good day so far. We'll see how it goes later on. We are now 20 to 2 and it's still fairly busy here, as you can see. It's calmed down a little bit, but we've sold quite a bit. We have quite a lot of sets on there that have gone. Poly bags have been doing well. Um, yeah, all in all, a great show so far. And uh, the nice thing is I don't have to go too far to go home tonight. So uh, look forward to that. And tomorrow at Brentwood. Now, I'm going to have to go to my storage unit and pack a bit more ready for tomorrow's show at Brentwood. But I think tomorrow might be a bit quieter than today. But yeah, let's see uh, how it wraps up later at four o'clock. So just over two hours left to go. Emil's just gone to the Brighton uh, football store with my wife and my other son. I'm sure he wants a new football kit, but uh, we'll have to wait and see. Hey everyone, it's day two and today I'm at uh, Brentwood. So it's the first time I'm doing a back-to-back. -back. Uh, I am on my own, Emil's not uh, feeling too good. He had uh, a bit of an injury on his foot, so he thought he wasn't going to come. So uh, it's now just 9.35, just managed to set it all up. It was a bit of a slog, but uh, yeah, let's go and have a look inside what's all here today.
we're about 12.30 now and this is, you can see the whole, it's not too busy. I must admit it's not been a great show for me personally. Not sold a lot and uh, yeah, not been very busy. So uh, we'll see how it goes, but I'm not expecting much between now and four o'clock. At least I'll be able to chat to some of the other traders soon. So at least something else to look forward to. Yeah, now it's 12.30. Don't think any more people are coming in. It's just the people who are here now. Just wandering around and uh, yeah, I think from about two o'clock I'll be dead in here. So I'll let you know if this changes. So there you had some footage from the two events now. They were both very contrasting events. Uh, Brighton was really good uh, from like a trader perspective. It was really busy, very engaging. I felt that everybody was very happy with how the show went and I generally saw quite a few big sets and you know, it didn't feel like it was a slog the whole day. I also enjoyed the location where I was uh, from a trader perspective. I had this nice little ledge where I could use uh, for putting up a lot of sets. So that was a, a nice bonus. And yeah, and also the kind of the way it was created as a corridor and kind of made people walk around. Now, interestingly, my wife did come as a visitor and she didn't like that. She felt that it was very crammed that way. Uh, but obviously, you know, from a trader perspective, I, I do quite like that where people are kind of really looking and seeing what's, what's going on. Then Brentwood, unfortunately, wasn't great at all. In fact, I think it was very close to being one of my worst shows ever. Um, I think I only sold like one uh, big set at that show. And I think generally, I don't think many people were uh, spending a lot of money. Now, I do know that it comes and goes. And I think a lot of it is to do as well that holidays are getting a lot more expensive this year. People's mortgage are definitely kicking in. But there was also a lot lower footfall there compared to last year. And I do know quite a few people said that last year wasn't good either for them. For me, I couldn't complain last year. That's why I rebooked it this year. But definitely it was not as good as last year for me. And uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how the next few uh, brick festival shows uh, go um but yeah i've also booked quite a few more for next year so uh let's hope that they do recover and let's hope that they're like the same like the brighton one because the brighton one showed that it, it can be good and people that i spoke to were generally very positive about how the event was so yeah let's see what the next few ones are and uh hopefully they'll uh, they'll uh, be as good as the brighton one was but yeah Hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know in the comment section if you've got any questions or any remarks and I'll try to answer them as soon as possible. But yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you again in the next one. Bye for now.